day to all you patriots out there. I am most sincerely glad to have the opportunity to speak to you from my home in Fredericksburg, Virginia. I am Captain John Paul Jones. I served in the Continental Navy. Unfortunately, due to a recent bout of sickness in the fleet, most of our men have been laid off and sent home for the time being. Sickness in a warship is a dreadful thing indeed, what with the crew sleeping nearly atop one another in the foxhole, and very little space for fresh air between decks. In fact, space upon our ships is so crammed that each man is only afforded 18 inches of space in which to sling his hammock. Tight squeeze indeed. I wish to make the most of my time here to shore, however, and I've been assured by my dear friend Dr. Benjamin Franklin that by speaking into this marvellous device, my image and voice will be captured and sent out to all of you. Have you yet made the acquaintance of Dr. Franklin? He's a most prodigious scientist and inventor. He discovered electricity in 52, mapped the Gulf Stream in 65. I most certainly believe him when it comes to this device. I must confess, I have long dreamed of a life of quiet contemplation and poetic ease here in the far land of Virginia. But with the revolutionary cause lingering on as it is, there's so much to do, I fairly ache to return to sea. My latest command, a 12-gun sloop of war Providence, is a fast and weatherly ship, and my crew, how sorely I miss them now, a very fine one. Did you get the missive from Abel Seaman Barlow? He's one of our finest crewmen afloat. While many of us are at home, Barlow's been assigned the task of keeping Providence in pristine condition so she can outsail any ship on the water, including His Majesty's 26-gun soul bay. Have you heard of that little encounter of ours? Oh, it is a fine, fine tale told throughout the colonies. I commanded Providence... Ah, alas, I digress. It is a tale for another time, as my good friend Dr. Franklin might remind me. I must attend to the matters at hand. To that end... The first and most important matter at hand is our invitation to you. Join the crew of Providence. Yes, you heard me right. Join our crew. Times like these, we need all hands. How do you join? Simple, by visiting this page each week. When you're here, you're part of the crew. Each Tuesday, We'll post new content for you to explore. Anything from tales on the high sea to history of the ship. Sea shanties to colouring pages. Not tie-in to knowledge. Tests of your knowledge. It'll be as exciting as my time at sea. Huh. Well, perhaps not. But we do have a good thing, few things here in store for you. Each time you visit the page, treat it as you would a voyage at sea. Be prepared for anything. You never know which direction the wind will blow, what tidings the current will bring. Well, you ready to set sail? Click the likeness of me above for the likeness of Abel Seaman Barlow in the portholes and send us a message letting us know you are. Matter of fact, click those portholes any time you wish to send us a message, question, or suggestions of content you'd like to see on the website. We'll be prompt in our responses, I assure you. And you may even see your content featured. After all, what good is a captain if he pays no mind to his crew? Sometimes a great one, but I digress. A tale for another time. <laughs> Perhaps that one is best told by Abel Seaman Barlow. He'll be helping us here too, of course. I hold him in high regard. Anything you hear from Abel Seaman Barlow, it's coming straight from me. And with that, Shipmates, let us set sail. Explore the way. Oh, well, oh, pardon. A, a plug? Pardon me, shipmates. I'm told there might be a leak aboard for the noble people at Providence Foundation say we need a plug? I don't understand. A.B. Bardo scoured the ship this morning in preparation for this crew. She's in mint condition, not taking on a drop of water. Shipmates, I'm told that a plug has nothing to do whatsoever with our seaworthiness. Rather, the 
following title screen. Can you make sense of it? I surely cannot. I was going to mention the colouring page, but perhaps this plug and title screen business is your first assignment aboard Providence. After all, as I said, you never know which way the wind will blow. 